So one of the ways to make it easier to use the, the still images that you have uh, gotten from the web is to put them into iPhoto and then from that selection create a new album. Um, by creating a new album you will have a set easily accessible once you open iMovie. Then I'm going to close iPhoto and open iMovie. You want to make sure that you've put the pictures into iPhoto first so that then you will see those pictures when you press the little camera and you will have the option here of going to an album and there are the pictures. That way it's easier to find. Otherwise you are just in your events and are scrolling through all your events to find it. Now if you only have a few events that's fine but uh, if you have a lot of pictures on your computer making an album may be easier uh, in order to organize that. Now when you create a new project in iMovie there are a couple of things you want to do. The first thing is to make sure that you go with the standard formatting. Most of the animations that you'll find will be a 4x3. Uh, most of the stills will be 4x6 or 4x3 um, dimensions, so that's going to be your best bet. Uh, leave it at NTSC for now. That'll be fine at 30 frames per second, and you should be all set. My suggestion would be to go with no theme. You're welcome to use whatever you like, but that will let you just have uh, what you need for this project and not in the context of some slightly funky comic book thing or whatever. Okay, so now we have a new project. We have stills. What we don't have are our videos. Um, so I'm going to quit out of this. You'll notice I haven't saved anything. iMovie 9 sort of saves automatically. It doesn't keep all of the images and videos uh, in the iMovie file. It merely references them. So once you've got it set up, you're fine. After you quit it, one of the things you want to do is go to your Movies folder and you should see an iMovie Projects folder. And you'll see here, this is the movie, the movie that I just started making. Okay. Now, this doesn't have any files affiliated with it. What we need to do then is if you don't have an iMovie Events folder, you need to make one. And it needs to look exactly like this. The lowercase i, the capital M, the space, the capital E. And inside of that, you want to put a new folder into which you can put the movies or animations that you've downloaded with EVOM so that it's a, a file in the subfolder of iMovie events. That way iMovie will know where to find it. So this will hopefully make sense in just a moment. We're going to go back and open up iMovie. And again, you do that not with iMovie open, but before opening, because you can see it's now generating thumbnails. That's important. Now we have the capacity here to go to Tax All. There's my animation. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next segment is learn how to get this into the movie uh, and to choose just parts and pieces of it. So on the next thing.